What's going on people, it's Greg with another Excel VBA tutorial video. Today we'll be going over how to send an email with a picture embedded in the body based on a cell value. So we'll be using a variable with IMG SRC. Let's get right into it. So, I've got a list of countries here and the respective flags saved on my computer. Right here. So I just grabbed the, I copied the address's text, pasted it, and then added the file name for each one of these. And what I want to do is send an email, and depending on which country I select, I want to have that flag posted in the email body. So I'll write email here, and then let's do a drop down. I just need to go to data, data validation, and then list. Select my source. My source is going to be these countries here. Enter. OK. So now I have my drop down. Let's do India, and I want to bring down the path to the file in this cell. So I'll go ahead and use an index match. I like to use that more than VLOOKUPs. So I want to grab these files and then match this cell against these cells. And I want an exact match, so I'll put a zero there. Okay, that didn't work. Oh, what? Oh, spelled match wrong. Well, okay, so now we're good. Change it every time I change it, I get something different. Good to go now. All right. So for a sub, let's call this sub send picks based on country it's kind of long but whatever and uh, let's go ahead and declare our variables we've got out app as an object out mail as an object so let's let's do two string bodies so let's have str body one as a string str body 2 as a string then I want I also want a string for my path here so because the file is a PNG let's just call it PNG and then I want to include the country name in my email somewhere so let's have a variable called country that's also a string all right so we're gonna set out app equal to create object outlook applications or we're going to be using and then set out mail equal to out app create item zero okay so for PNG that's going to be equal to this workbook sheets and then this is showing sheet 2 so sheet 2 and the cells it's going to be what down 9 over 2 so 9 2 let's go ahead and copy this and then for the country We'll paste it, and we're down nine over one, right here. Okay, so our string body, the first one, is gonna have our font and all that stuff in the greeting. So let's choose our body style. Um. font size let's go 14 font family let's go Arial alright let's keep it going on the next line so we use an ampersand and an underscore to keep it going 
Um, so what I want to say, I want to say, let's start back here. Hi team, and then let's do a paragraph break. Please see the national flag of, and then I want to have the country's name, so I'm going to do a space, quotation, ampersand, and I'm going to use country, so country, then I need another space, and I'll just say, so please see the national flag of blank below, period. Do another paragraph break in that one. And then we'll have, okay, what did I do wrong? Oops. Oh. Quotation should be here. All right. So we're gonna have the picture and then we're gonna have our, 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 our second string body which will just say, let's do a break, paragraph break. It'll just say thank you. Let's do a regular break. Greg. All right. So on error, resume next. Let's start our with, so without mail. We're gonna send this to uh, let's send it to team at 123.com CC no one PCC let's leave that blank as well subject let's include the country name in the subject so we could say flag of space and percent country and then we're gonna display. Okay, so now HT we need to do HTML body equals str str body one. So it's gonna be equal to our greeting first. And then we're gonna use the IMG SRC. And in order to use this with a variable, what you have to do is equals quotations and then add character 34. Ampersand PNG. Sorry, not PNG, I'm tripping. Um Yeah, yeah, that's right, sorry. <laughs> ampersand PNG and then character 34 again and then ampersand this and then that let's go okay so now I want another let's drag this over a little bit ampersand underscore and go to the next line and I want to do str body two ampersand HTML body. So that will allow us to change whatever picture we want to use for our email using this here. So let's end our width. on error go to zero set out mail equal to nothing and then we're gonna set our out app equal to nothing so then we can end our sub right there all right let me move this over just a little bit all right so, when I run this, I get an error. Uh, 
forgot the E and create. Nice. Let's try it again. Boom. There we go. Flag of India. Nice flag, by the way. Hi, team. Please see the national flag of India below. Thank you, Greg. And then we can switch this up. Boom. So now we're able to use a variable with IMGSRC. So yeah. It's pretty cool. But yeah, that's all I have for today. Thank you very much. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Have a good one.